So we were discussing how to find the, you know, different, uh, what you call column space, null space, row space, and left null space for this. After finding this, we were trying to plot the, what you call subspaces. Each one of that will just correspond to a line because this is two dimension. It is just a line. Okay, x1 plus 3x2 equal to zero will be a line. Minus 2x1 plus the 2x, 1x2 will be a line. 1x1 plus 2x2 will be a line. Minus 3x1 plus 1y1 1 x2 will be a line. And all these are just lines which we are just trying to plot. So each of this R might be, you know, it's a what you call, uh, you know, we have taken this as inverse of, uh, you know, rather in place of uh, minus two and one, we have taken two and minus one. It hardly matters. This is one three, which is as it is over here. And next we have one two, and one two is written over here, multiple of one two, and this multiple of one two will correspond to the point of this and the multiple of that, that will be giving us the line passing through that and the, uh, you know, uh, origin. Okay, every time this line, this line is for CAT, this line is for NA, this line is for CA, similarly, this line is for NAT, and this is, you know, three comma minus one or minus three comma one, hardly matters. This is minus three comma one. Okay, this is three comma minus one. It hardly matters because we are just multiplying, multiplying it by a minus quantity because we are talking about multiples of that. Okay, multiples of that. Okay, so this is how it is. So now if this will be the, you know, uh, rank and this will be the nullity, you join those two, you'll get a total solution. Okay, this is the rank and this is the nullity. You sum that up you will get XR plus XN, that will give you the total solution, and that will be the point over here. So if you just take XR, if you just take XR, AXR will be equal to B because AXN will be equal to zero, okay? If I write AX equal to B, X can be written as XR plus XN, right? So then I can just divide it into two parts, AXR plus AXN equal to zero. Out of this, AXN is equal to already zero. We know that, you know, to find the null space, we use AXN equal to zero. So you leave that, you'll get AXR equal to B, okay? So using this XR, XR can be mapped into the B by multiplying it by A, okay? Multiplying it by A. So you'll get the column space over here. These are the values which correspond to, you know, B1, B2, B3, and this is, the null space which corresponds to the value which are x1, x2, x3, whatever. Similarly, if I take x equal to xr plus xn, right? If I map that, I'll get x equal to b. Multiply this by a, you will get again equal to b and that is the mapping, okay? So that's why these two dotted lines are written over here. So for the example which we have taken a is equal to one by three, two by six, the four, you know, subspaces can be plotted like this. The four subspaces can be plotted in this way. The four subspaces can be plotted in this way by taking the corresponding quantities, okay? So, uh,